Before we begin, I just want to let you know that this video was exclusively released into my Patreon on December 19th, 2023. You can join the Patreon for as low as two bucks a month. In fact, it is a name your price Patreon and you are welcome to select whatever level you are comfortable at. You all get access to the same information. Inside of this Patreon, you will see exclusive videos just like the one that you're about to watch here on Filecoin. As well, you get to watch me document my trading journey while I take a $2,500 portfolio and grow at this bull run using wisdom, sound decision-making processes, as well as the personal words of knowledge that I receive in prayer when I seek God for his direction on faith meeting finances. You will never be able to achieve financial freedom or steward money effectively if you do not understand the difference between price and value. I have the deepest level conviction that the value that you receive when you're in the Patreon is astronomically higher than the low price that you pay to join. So that's the plug for my Patreon. Thank you for your patience and let's get into this video. So you might not be aware of this, but Filecoin is an absolutely integral part of the entire cryptocurrency industry. And in this video today, I'm going to share with you why I personally am so incredibly bullish on Filecoin. I'll unpack some of the practical real world information that we have. And at the end, I will fuse it and share with you some prophetic information that I received in my own time of prayer having to do with Filecoin. So this will be an example of where faith meets sensibility. I will apply sensible information that we have from real world data, but I will also fuse it, as I mentioned, with some prophetic information too. Specifically, a really bullish dream that I had. And if you're new here and that sounds totally bizarre and weird to you, just wait, it gets worse. That being said, we have an incredible track record on this channel of me sharing prophetic words timing the market all throughout the last year and a half because it's not me, it's literally me meditating on God and he drops nuggets of wisdom into my spirit because I have a relationship with Jesus Christ. So this whole thing might sound very bizarre to you if you're new here, but if you're returning, you probably get it by now and let's just get into this information. Now, a couple quick disclaimers. This is not financial advice. Nothing that I say should be considered such. As well, there are definitely resources online that if any of this captivates your interest, you can get much better information from other sources. I'm just going to do a quick summary and condensation of some of the things that I have learned in my own investigating of Filecoin. When you're observing the entire cryptocurrency market, there are thousands of projects out there. But when it comes to those of them that are technologically more advanced and pioneering into a new wave of Web3, there's only a select handful of them that are head and shoulders above the rest. Those include Filecoin, Arweave, Thorchain, ICP, and a few others here and there. Many of your legacy cryptocurrency projects, the big names like Bitcoin and Ethereum, the underlying technology is actually not that advanced. Ethereum has massive scalability issues as well. They have a very high transaction cost and a low speed. That's very inefficient. And also Ethereum has high storage and bandwidth costs as well as a low throughput. In addition to that, they've only recently switched from proof of work to proof of stake, whereas more technological advanced projects were founded and started on proof of stake rather than proof of work. Now, Bitcoin and Ethereum are just a couple examples of many projects out there that are facing similar problems. But I need to be very clear here. Being more technologically advanced does not mean that you will be more successful or gain more market share. If that were to be the case, the entire world would be using Linux and Android. In fact, most of the world does use those platforms. However, most people use Apple. They use their iPhones and their MacBooks. Just because something is more technologically advanced doesn't mean that it will get mass adoption. And that's actually what we're seeing with Ethereum. I have no doubt in my mind that Ethereum is still going to be the juggernaut in the years to come. I think that there's so many layer two scaling solutions that are being built upon it that it has such a wide moat and it has such a market share dominance that it's going to be very difficult for new projects to eat away at its launch. Many more people are coming into this scene and they're innovating on Ethereum rather than trying to start their own projects. Now, that is just a overarching hypothesis. There is definitely plenty of space. This is the globally fastest adopted technology, and there are reasons why Solana is doing incredibly well. There is so much development taking place there. But I unpack all of this as a way of laying down the groundwork to explain why Filecoin is so advanced, why it's integral to the entire cryptocurrency industry, as well to lay the foundational understanding that not all cryptocurrencies are built the same. All of these different blockchain layer one projects that are out there have their differences. They have their nuances, their strengths, and their weaknesses. And today, I just want to get into Filecoin. Every major Web3 development project out there today is integrating the IPFS. This is the Interplanetary File System. Whenever you go online and you search for something, you type in www. But before those W's, there's an acronym, HTTPS. And that stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. This HTTPS is a standard and it uses encryption to secure communications over a computer network. If you've been around crypto for any time, you've probably heard this phrase, Web 3.0. 
Now that does not mean that it's the newest version of the internet. Rather, it encapsulates this paradigm shift of people changing from web 2.0, which is pretty much what we're using, a centralized internet, into a decentralized web. So it encapsulates this paradigm shift. Blockchain has actually been around since the 1980s or 90s. It's not that new. But in this paradigm shift of people walking away from Web 2.0, where everything is centralized, and entering into a decentralized internet, we have the ability to create awesome projects. We could basically make a Facebook that doesn't have a Mark Zuckerberg. And that comes through the beauty of a decentralized internet. Now, that is a very abbreviated, condensed summary of a lot more complexities behind it. But just to conceptualize it, I hope that made sense. Filecoin is integral to Web 3.0. In fact, IPFS, the Interplanetary File System, this has already become the widely adopted solution for powering metadata on blockchains. What that means is all of your rich media data on these blockchains, your NFTs, your $5,000 JPEG cat, your videos, they're all being stored on the IPFS. So Filecoin is a deep conviction play if you believe in this decentralized web, decentralized social narrative. Whether it either happens in real life or if it's just hype, Filecoin is the play to make. And let me be clear here, that is just my opinion. This is not financial advice. Now, before I jump into the prophetic information, the dream that I had about Filecoin, I wanna be very clear here. When you look at the Filecoin chart, and this is what most retail investors do, they open up the charts and they go, whoa, if this were to return to all-time highs, then I would make a 50X or 60X on my money. And I would caution you against that. And the reason being is that, well, it's several fold. I am incredibly bullish on Filecoin, and when you open up the Filecoin charts, it gets you so excited because this thing has seen incredible high highs, and we are so far down in the price from those high highs. So there's that part of you that goes, wow, this is awesome. I can make a huge return, but there's a few reasons as to why I want to caution you into getting ahead of yourself. I would not be surprised if in the next couple of years, it does return to its all-time highs. That could totally happen, but... Filecoin now has more circulating supply in the market, so you need to factor that in when you multiply it against the previous price of the all-time high. Basically, that gives you a market cap of somewhere in the high hundreds of billions of dollars. If I had to guess, probably around 500 billion, compared to the previous cycle when it only had about a 290 billion all-time high market cap. The math is gonna be a little bit off there, but the principle is the same, in that if we were to envision Filecoin returning to its all-time highs, it's going to require a lot of liquidity being pumped into the market because of the additional circulating supply that now exists, which, to be honest, is still quite low. Or it would require some basic supply and demand factors to play out. If all of the circulating supply that's out there right now were to be purchased and there was still a significant demand for it, we could definitely see the price of Filecoin skyrocket. When you look at the vested token unlock schedule, by 2025, there should be around 1.2 billion tokens in the market at that point. So that would be completely unrealistic to have that many tokens at the previous all-time high price. Anything can happen. These are just speculations out there, but it seems a little unrealistic. Now, when we open up the Filecoin chart, you can see that this thing has seen some highs in its time. I can't even fit it on the screen. Zooming back into the realistic levels of where we're at today, in my opinion, the price here that you see in the bottom right corner of the screen, that is currently between a green bar of support and a red bar of resistance, this entire area, in my opinion, is a place to be dollar cost averaging and purchasing. I know that on our portfolio here in the Patreon, we did just add Filecoin. We opened up our initial position and we did wait because there was this green, um, big green candle day where it went up about 20 or 30%. I forget. We waited for it to come back down and we saved about 30% on our dollar cost average entrance price. That being said, though, when you actually zoom out, which is what I encourage people to do because this is a long-term game that we're playing, the portfolio that I'm managing, this is a swing trade to long-term play type of portfolio. This entire range, in my opinion, of let's just say up to, let's call it $9 down to $3, that is an accumulation range in my opinion. Can you make some pretty good money in there if you're patient and if you bottom ticket and then you sell it right here while it's you know at, at $9? Yes, you can. But... I personally am playing Filecoin from the position of zooming out and purchasing it in this area that it's in. When there's good red days, I will purchase then and holding on to it for the bull run. And the reason being is this, and this is where we're going to segue into the prophetic content. I had a dream and this is what the Lord basically showed me in the dream. Now, when I first received this dream, it was probably seven to 10 months ago. I moved from Europe to Florida here. I had to move my uh, documents onto a different computer. And for some reason, I cannot find the stream. I remember it quite well, but I can't give you the date and time. It was probably seven to 10 months ago. I remember the price was probably around four to $5 and it's still right around four to $5. This is the dream that took place. 
I'm seated at a dining room table and across from me is my mother and a couple of her friends in the stream. And in the stream, I know that they've represented professionals, like experts in the world of cryptocurrency. These are people that I've never met before. I think they're fictional characters. They're, they're, you know, they're not that important, but basically they're all their professional opinions. And we're talking about cryptocurrency. My brother appears and he's seated right next to me and he turns to me and he speaks to me about Filecoin. Now, quick time out here. This is something that I've learned over the years when it comes to God bringing my brother into dreams. My brother is a business person and he represents finances. And so the Lord will often speak to me some things about um, investments or the markets using business people. He's just one example. There's been other people in the past too. For example, when Facebook was at rock bottom in the bear market, the day to be purchasing, I had a dream um, where one of these business people spoke to me and told me about Facebook. Now, you need to be careful and cautious when it comes to dreams and people speaking to you in dreams. They can oftentimes be familiar spirits. And so I'm not encouraging anyone to just jump into this world of spirituality without having a concrete relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, I've been a dreamer my whole life, so these things are kind of normal to me. But it requires discernment. It requires that you be careful and it requires that everything that you ever hear or see, you take it back to the word of God. And you need to have a foundational rock solid walk with Christ whenever you're jumping into this world of spirituality. So that being said, there's a business person in my dream who turns to me and basically says this. He goes, Filecoin. Now, whenever Filecoin is in a bull market, this thing will go whoosh. And I think he said it twice. He goes, Filecoin in a bull market. It goes whoosh. Now, that's a kind of funny prophetic word right there. Whoosh, right? Whoosh. But basically, when you actually look at the charts here, and let me pull up the right one. Filecoin, <laughs> Filecoin goes whoosh. Like that is a violent aggressive. This is a three day time frame chart. When it makes its moves, it goes whoosh, whoosh. Now, bringing it back to reality right here. Um, are we in a bull market? Yes, I believe so. But have we seen the massive bull market? No, not quite yet. I remember in a dream, I had a um, vision of the night one time when I was powering on the bull market. And I've done another video that basically says that when I had this dream and I released it on this channel, when you look at the stock market charts, everything turned around and became bullish again a couple days after I posted that on this channel. Um, we are in a bull market, but we haven't seen the full bull hit crypto yet. As we enter into 2024, and this is just speculations and they're cutting interest rates, they might even be pumping out more liquidity at some point, injecting the markets with more money. I don't know. That's personally when I think that we will see the fulfillment of that dream that in a bull market, this coin goes whoosh. So what do we do with that information? Well, when in doubt, zoom out. When you look at the actual charts of Filecoin, like we just did, we are simply in a range right now that I personally believe is accumulation. Whether you purchase down here at $2.30, sorry, $3.30, or if you're purchasing it up here at $7.70, that is a huge difference. But when you zoom out and we're actually in a bull market, that is the play to make. So this is the range of accumulation, in my opinion. I'm dollar cost averaging on the red days. And I can't wait to see this position go whoosh in the future. Thank you for watching. That's the Filecoin video. That's why I am incredibly bullish on this project.